This is incredible. I hope it shows up on camera as good as I see it. It's the same way the wood breaks down today. Either it cuts off here and the moss starts, I couldn't tell you. Like I said, maybe we're meant to see it. This is truly incredible. This is what makes it all worth it to be able to show the truth. That's how everything is. But it has the discoloration and the moss on it, okay? But you see, for example, this piece, this little piece, that little piece, these pieces, they're everywhere. They're, I mean, they're, they're everywhere. We're on the top right now, so they used to be a part of one of these. And the flood came along, took these, and brought them right, laid it right there, like that. And look how high up this is. How, how deep were their floodwaters to cover these trees or the remnants? So they had to have laid on the ground for quite some time in weather uh, to be able to do this. And then the floodwaters came. So I gotta film part of this again because sometimes I, you don't come across things as extra extraordinary as this, especially things that don't have the, the, the moss and stuff on them that hide the color. So I just want you to take a good look at this. Hey, this is a different spot, but look at this. around down here and you know some people would never get to see this in a lifetime you see all the all the pieces and parts everywhere all the pieces and parts Cedars in the garden of God could not hide him. The fir trees were not like his boughs, and the chestnut trees were not like his branches, nor any tree in the garden of God was like unto him in his beauty. I have made him fair by the multitude of his branches, so that all the trees of Eden that were in the garden of God envied him. Therefore thus saith the Lord God, Because thou hast lifted up thyself in height, and he hath shot up his top among the thick boughs, and his heart is lifted up in his height, I have therefore delivered him into the hand of the mighty one of the heathen. He shall surely deal with him. I have driven him out for his wickedness. And strangers, the terrible of the nations, have cut him off and have left him. Upon the mountains and in all the valleys his branches are fallen and his boughs are broken by all the rivers of the land. And all the people of the earth are gone down from his shadow and have left him. Upon his ruin shall all the fowls of the heaven remain. And all the beasts of the field shall be upon his branches. It's truly amazing. Wow.
right, now we're gonna go down and we're gonna go down there and look at the face of this. Okay, so hold on. Okay, so let me show you this. This section right here, that's just the center core. And this thing was hundreds, if not thousands of feet in diameter before it's, it all broke apart. Now let me show you here. Okay. You look right here. You're gonna see the rings as if you were looking at it down at a stump and seeing the rings. All this over here is gone. All this, who knows how thick it was, is gone. Just this small, small section remains. And you see the radius rings as if they would go around, around this like that. So much is gone and these used to come all the way up and around. There used to be more on top that would go around. But that's a pretty good example. That's the inner core. And that's just part of a branch that goes back. That piece right there is about five stories tall. And that is just one of them little pieces. All these little pieces you see are just part of the tree, the fibers. You come up here. See there. It's just how the tree breaks down. And you come over here. Yeah, all these little pieces with the flat edge and the ledges. And this was, and this is a small one. This would be one of them gaps you can walk through. It's a small one. Some of the pieces are so large. Like, we're gonna walk this whole hill right here, all the way down, cut across, and cut up on there. But that hill over there is like one of these pieces. It's not a whole tree, it's just pieces that are broken down. And then you'll see that over time, this piece will break off and they keep breaking, breaking apart into pieces like fibers. Okay. So I actually found this, this stump right here just to give you a visual. But you gotta remember, these are parts of the branches. This, So you see the, the rings, part of the radius here. All this was connected at one time. All this was massive. And then pieces broke off and dispersed. So you see right here, okay? So this is a stump and the rings go this way. Not always, but most of the time. So if you were to put that piece up there, the rings here are going in a semicircle. Same as that. This would be like one little piece of the rings here going around. And then all the rest of it's gone. It's just what happens. This thing here is so massive. I told you it's like the fibers. That don't even look petrified right here. Looks like driftwood. She. Yeah, that does not even look petrified. Oh, how crazy is this? Hold on, 
sorry about spinning around. Just trying to get a better angle for you. This is so massive. That's at least 60, 70 foot tall. And you come here, this is, you see under here, this is kind of like a knot right here. See that? And there's part of a ring laying right there. Let's go up there a little bit. You can see a lot of the, the characteristics of the wood because it doesn't get a lot of water. How crazy is that? So that whole section right here broke off. Like this piece is getting ready to break off. But this was a knot. A massive part of a massive knot. And this is just one tiny piece, section of a, a one ring. Holy moly. And I'm showing you how like the fibers are. I'll put a picture in here of how wood is, the way it breaks down. Uh, providing it's straight grain. If not, you get into all kinds of different things. Look at that tree ring. This is really incredible. You see here, these are like the fibers. You know, if you could see the vastness, the size of these, it is just beyond incredible. Oh. And then when you get exposed areas like this where you can actually see like the inside wood grain, it's pretty incredible. Look at this. And this is a massive piece, but it's small compared to the tree that it came from. The trees floated into an area, a low bed area, and rested there and did not decompose right. They were still soaked in water and taken in minerals. They turned to stone. Well, all the mountain ridges that you've seen in your life that you think are mountains, those aren't mountains at all. That's why they're in straight line ridges, because those are the trees that floated off and settled wherever they settled at, like the Rocky Mountains. It's not really the Rocky Mountains. It's just some of the big trees that settled there. That's why you have mountains in certain places, not all over. You know, not all over, straight all across the country, all the way. It's just in certain spots of countries. And that's where those trees settled at. And what you think are mountains, those are the giant trees that were cut down by the watchers, the holy ones, just before the flood. Just before the flood, they were cut down. And that's why they drifted off from the stumps that you see today. That's why you don't see the tree laying beside the stump, because they floated away and settled as the oceans receded. Everyone, thanks for watching. Have a good night and God bless.